it's, it's, hard, it's hard to say whether any conditions make it worse. There are some indications that if you really concentrate hard on something, you tend to ignore the visual snow. So someone that's really detailed, uh, uh, involved in detailed work, uh, sometimes just forgets about the visual snow. Stress doesn't make anything better. It's like aging, you know, it's sort of uh, everything gets worse as you get older, everything gets worse as you get stressed. Uh, so I, I think that stress is a super added uh, component uh, that aggravates the perception of visual snow, but I don't think it actually changes the fundamental physiological abnormality. I don't think stress plays more of a role in visual snow than it plays with any other um, thing that one might have that that limits uh, coping. Whatever you have, you've got a sore foot and you get stressed. It's harder to cope with hobbling with a sore foot but, and, or a fracture, but no one would claim a person with a fracture was crazy. So why label that with, with any condition? I think stress is, um, stress is a often quoted um, cause or worsener for visual snow and it labels patients with visual snow a little unnecessarily. We got to looking at, at a link between stress and visual snow. Many patients have commented that as they get more stressed or they get into more stressful environments, it does increase their visual, visual snow symptoms. Many patients have also said that when they've had episodes of severe stress in their lives, that's triggered uh, visual snow to happen, to start. So many patients associate the specific moment where they suffered a significant stress of some kind and then, then thereafter visual snow started. So I think that there is a direct link and that's why things like medi meditation, yoga, mindfulness exercises help with visual snow because they, they all alleviate stress. So there are things that make visual snow worse. Stress exacerbates visual snow. Um, also lack of sleep seems to be a big one. Migraines. And for women, sometimes hormonal fluctuations. For me specifically, I've identified a few things that make it worse. And this is in order uh, from most aggravating to least aggravating for me. Uh, number one is stress. Uh, if I'm under quite a bit of stress, my symptoms do get um, noticeably worse. Uh, the second thing is if I have a cold or a flu, uh, that seems to make all of my symptoms get worse as well too. Uh, excessive computer usage without breaks. So if I continue to use a computer for hours on end without taking a break, that'll make my symptoms worse. And then the things that are uh, a bit less but still do cause a, n a noticeable increase, at least I believe they do, are things like um, caffeine seems to make it worse, uh, too much sugar uh, and too much sodium as well. Those all seem to make the symptoms worse. So I, I essentially try avoiding those things as much as reasonably possible. I, I mean, I don't go out of my way uh, to avoid sugar, but um, I definitely avoid eating a whole cake by myself because it will definitely make things worse.